Welcome back for part 7 of Let's Play Mean Streets. If you recall, we were looking at newspaper. Article circled on the death of notice sign is Carl Davis, or Cal Davis. Death caused by a dead scientist. Well... If he's dead, maybe our medical examiner knows. Excuse me, knows something about that, huh? Do I guess? We get it? Yeah, we take the newspaper. Look at the desk. Is there size? Hey, there's a fax machine. Fax machine's operational. A message? The message reads Professor, they're on to you. I suggest you disappear fast. The name at the bottom of the fax? Once again, that's Sonny Fletcher. We need to find out about Sunny, don't we? Let's take the message. Just to save myself some time. Move. Open. And turn on a fax machine. That's not open, that's turn on and off. Oh well. Oh. Huh. Uh, move. Yep. Let's go back. To the computer. Let's look at the computer. What does this computer say? Insert blue pass card. We got it from somewhere. Pass card verified. Input blue password. Well, blue. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. Project notes. Linsky. These must be dates. September, let's see, July, August, August, August 10th. I am frustrated with our attempts to find the other scientists working on this project. So far, we've only put together a small list of possible colleagues. And SF, I'm guessing, Sonny Fletcher is not convinced that all scientists are naive about Overlord. I have discovered that in order to stop it, I will need to obtain all the pass cards and their passwords. But what to do once I've obtained them is unclear. Fletcher, I guess, believes a sci once a scientist is through with his particular phase of work on Project Overlord, he's eliminated. I completed my work on Overlord a week ago, but I'm still uneasy. I'm going to take my concerns to J. St. Gideon. There's some info. J. St. Gideon. President of Gideon and MTC. Okay. Uh, September 20th. I've had severe headaches throughout the day. Something is wrong in my head. Wrong in his head. That's the day he died. I'm doing things that makes no sense to me. I must try to... Oh, okay. That's interesting. Let me get that. Nope, can't be removed. Can we move it? Nothing new there. We can open the computer. It doesn't do anything. Turn it off. I guess. Taste the computer? The major appliance. Its flavor is about average. What about the printer? Anything good there? Standard laser printer. Gets. It's fastened at one end. It won't break free. Don't have the tools. Oh, you turn it on. Let's see, is there any way we can print this out? Bishop. I wonder if hitting print screen does anything. Please? No? Darn it. Oh, 
Oh well, it was worth a shot. Now, I'm pretty sure we've rifled through this place pretty good. Yes, we wish to exit. We have a bunch of names, don't we? To save. I said save. Yes, we want to save. Just in case this witness tries to uh, do something evil. F code four six five seven. Let's go pay Mr. Bash de Go a visit. And this will officially run me out of... Ascent wall. W A L L. Man, I cannot figure out that last one. I'm short. One word to figure out. Hmm. But list of passwords. Still annoying, but we are here. Let us see if we can get this witness to say anything. Well, apparently not without a fight. not going down without a fight, is he? Good thing I found those extra hundred bullets, wasn't it? Okay. They weren't kidding about this being a rough neighborhood. Blown out, wasted buildings are occupied by the bottom rung of society. You'd have to have a jungle mentality to survive here. I find a suitable place to wait. I'm hoping to see the guy who witnessed Linsky's suicide. Clement showed me a mugshot of Dago, who he described as the ultimate low-life scumbag. I finally see the guy. Looking at, him, looking at him quickly dispels the myth that the little inbreeding never hurt anyone. Wow. This, this guy looks strange. Suck it, fish. Oh, I see. No time for diplomacy. I threaten to bash and crack heads if I don't get the right information. I slam my fish into his soft, flabby stomach and he buckles over. I then catch his chin with a solid haymaker that sends him staggering back against the wall. Okay, okay, that's enough. I'll talk. 
Yeah, I saw the old Grizzler jump, but the whole incident was outrageously bizarro. The old geek walks by like Dawn of the Dead. Then, when he's about 30 feet past me, he climbs over the barrier and nosedives into the bay. The amped old buzzard didn't even hesitate. That definitely sounds a bit suspicious, doesn't it? Hmm. My time's valuable. I don't give anything for free. <laughs> oh, I guess we're just going to keep beating this poor guy up, aren't we? Let's see. Yeah. No. And about Dolores. Light. She's out of well, Blight Batty. No. St not st Steve Clements. I gotta spell it correctly. Clements. There's a determined cop. When he puts his foot down, someone's usually under it. Me too. You know anything about Nexus? No. What about insurance scams? You look like a scam type of individual. No. Oh, and order. No way. I got nothing to say. That's the Goon Squad. Political party that wants to force the freaks out of town. Okay. Gideon? Enterprises. Nope. The MTC Corp. No. Well, you're just a fountain of information, aren't you? Uh, Sandra Larson? No. Sonny Fletcher? No. Wiener? Make it worth my time. I haven't got all day. <coughs> Blaze is a groundskeeper for the Giants at Candlestick Park. Use coordinates 1715. Ha ha ha! My fist gets me a free place. We will go there next, after I finish beating the snot out of you. What about Peter Dull? John Klaus? No? How about David Poop? Ever heard of him? No? Cal Davis. No? J. Saint Gideon. No. So you're useless otherwise, huh? I didn't. I don't remember. No, probably not. You probably are useless outside of that, but you did give me a free location. Well, free for the cost of my knuckles beating your face in. Anyway, next time, folks, we will go talk to the former student of Carl Linsky, hey, Mr. Blaze Wiener. Yeah, that just sounds wrong. But until then, take care, everybody. I will see you later. <laughs>